Hi everyone, Luis Pedoya with Charles Rutenberg Realty. Let me show you this property at 100 Northeast Avenue in Pinellas Park. This is listed at $390,000 with three bedroom, two bathroom and a private pool. It does not have a garage. The garage has been converted into a living space. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this community, this neighborhood. And I don't have a gimbal today. So I apologize if it's a little bit shaky, if you like and subscribe, I will greatly appreciate that. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help you buy or sell your house. Just reach out. If there's no way for me to help you, I'll direct you in the right way. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so we actually have a lot of action going on today at this property, especially because of the price that it's listed at, $389,000, which is quite a good price point if you ask me for a property like this. It brings a lot of attraction, you know, traction when the property price is decent. And again, right now in Florida, everything is so overpriced. It's difficult to have fine houses that are not around, you know, 450, 500K for our particular purpose of doing an Airbnb. So we have a 2021 roof, all right? House was built in the 50s, 60s. We got a couple of steps up into the property. The windows and glass has been upgraded in 2017. It's impact double pan windows. And I like that when you come into the house, you definitely put a view of an open space and you have a view of the water and the pool. But there is a kitchen right here, so it will be nice for us to be able to open up this wall. This house is gonna require some work, guys. It's not ready to hit the market. Again, we were also looking at this kitchen. We have updated cabinets, outdated countertops, outdated appliances. So this is all need to be gutted out. And the plumbing down here is also going to need some work. As you can see, it's rusty. It's old and it needs to be taken care of, right? You don't have any, wanna have any plumbing issues in our Airbnbs. So we have some closet space, which is one of the reasons why we're thinking we might be able to, I mean, it sounds hollow to me all throughout until here, so, all right. And all you have to do is just bring some more cabinet space back here. If you have a kitchen island, you can bring some more storage space. So as we walk into the house, we have the living areas to our right. So let's get, take a quick look at this. We got one bathroom here. So outdated bathroom somewhat. You know, you got some elements that are originally original to the bathroom, along with the tub that is also original. You have a sink that seems to be upgraded, as well as a, a toilet. Okay, double sink on this one. We got a room. One of the guest rooms, plenty of window, plenty of light coming in. Normally we upgrade the Celine fans. They're very cheap. Get a new fan for 150 bucks, pay $100, $50 per fan for fan installation. Get it done for cheap. And it really upgrades the, vibe, the feel and the vibe of your Airbnb. When you have an upgraded fan, something that looks a little bit more recent. So we got some more storage space right here. And we got the HVAC right here, which is very common thing here in Florida. And we have access to the attic from here. One attic access down there. All right, so we go back into the dining room, living room area, kitchen. That used to be the garage that has been converted. We have access to the outdoors and Florida rooms, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that soon. And this is a master bedroom. All right, so we got different color going on here. Double pan impact windows. Very nice, very sturdy. Definitely upgrade that panel. And then we have this very retro bedroom, which again, I don't really mind that much. I kind of like this retro vibe. I don't like this short amount of space that I've got right here and then this shower. So if there's any way that this shower could be extended in any way possible so that the entrance of the shower is here and this could be already showered. And if you could remove this storage space from here, then at that point you could easily access the toilet from there. All right. Okay. Okay, so we've covered the rooms, we've covered the kitchen, we've covered the living area. Let's go ahead and take a look at this additional space back here. 
We got a different texture in the walls, the wooden planks. We've got this bigger window here. For the window, looks beautiful. I do like the extra light that comes in. And a real wood burning fireplace. Looks like original. I was, <laughs> I'm not sure really. Let's not get too far into that one, but this is definitely a different space and it could be converted into a very bohemian area of the house. Now, there is a utility room back here for your stackable washer and dryer. There's already a toilet. So, we, you know, also possibility of potentially rearranging the space or creating a shower, changing this to a sliding door that doesn't occupy or take so much space. And here's your water heater. Okay, so we have an access here to some pool equipment. I see something is kind of, okay, now this looks good, it's okay. Thought it was disconnected. We have a AC unit that's elevated and strapped. And the good thing about this bathroom, guys, electrical panel, good thing about this bathroom is that it's accessible through the pool area. So that is a good thing. And we'll have to figure out what's going on here with this mess. All right. So let's just take a quick peek back here and then we get back in the room and we'll finish coming back around this area, okay? So back into the house, this tiny bathroom thing situation we got going on back here. Again, this place could be converted. Maybe you have a kitchen here. There's already plumbing coming out of this. So you could have a kitchen and a bathroom, close this up and have some sort of different space, amenity for the house. Okay, so now, let's go into the exterior. We have this space that usually we would like to use as a dining space. If you could use this space as a dining area, you know, so you can have your food, your meals out here. This needs to be re-netted. I'm actually just gonna step over here. And the one thing I noticed is that we do seem to have a, a doggy on the other side that is, is a little bit barky, so I, you know, we'll have to check and make sure that that is not a continuous, you know, very constant situation. Maybe Doggy is out here for just a little bit throughout the day. Maybe he barks just a little bit, but we definitely want to make sure that it's not going to be a, an annoying situation for us to have a, a really loud animal too close to our house. Okay, so we have a deeper pool. It needs seems like it's going to need resurfacing. They, they decided to throw snakes on it. This decoration it looks a little bit weird to me. But we have the pool, deeper pool. Looks really nice. And we have a shed back here. So it's also a possibility, or in my opinion, I don't think you need all of this space back here. I think you could do with a smaller shed. And instead, you just pave this a little bit so you can have the lounge chairs maybe on either side or maybe just on this side. And that will be a fireplace area over there. And maybe you could even have a pergola where this whole um, container is sitting. And then you just buy a smaller shed and you put it back here. That's maybe something that you could do. Yeah, you have a shed back here. You know, right over here. Doors. For your kayaks, for your inflatables, you know, anything extra that you want. But yeah, we got Dougie right over here. And that could be a situation that could could, could make our, our guest a little bit frustrated if there's a doggy barking. I've, I've had that situation, so speaking out of experience. Anyways, if you have questions, if you'd like to look at more properties like this, hey, if you, have, you just want to check out the numbers. If you're curious about how this works, make sure you reach out. We're experts at, at, experts at this. Buying properties, setting them up as Airbnbs. We know the cash flow, we know the numbers. We have the proof, we have the evidence that we can provide to you so we can satisfy your needs for information, for data. So make sure you reach out, like and subscribe. We'll be still here signing up and wishing you a wonderful, wonderful month of April. Bye-bye.